thoughts on uh, your announcement? Um, I don't know if it was my announcement. I knew I was retiring at the end of the year. It was the team announcement. So, yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. Are you going to miss it at all? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's been 15 years of my life. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to miss it, but soccer is always going to be a part of my life. Um, you know, I'm not retiring from soccer. I might be retiring from professional soccer, but soccer will always be a part of, you know, my, my kids and my family. And, um, you know, now I'll get the opportunity to be more a part of their games and coaching them and watching them grow as players. It's still kind of crazy for you to think about the progression from the USL days to where the sport and where the team is now just compared to when you started? Oh, yeah, from a from a team standpoint it's just it's amazing but you always knew there was that underlying underlying support for for soccer in the northwest um, that's that's one of my favorite things is just talking to people who have who have been around since NASL days and and watch the team have success and then disappear for a while and then and then watch it struggle through you know minor minor leagues and then find the joy of, of being a supporter of the MLS Sounders when you've been a part of this team for so long and kind of a, a key piece for as long as you have, do you would like to come back with the team as a coach or trainer or anything like that? Um, I'd, I'd never close that door, but right now I don't see that in my future. Um, you know, I'd love to be a part of some of the stuff they're doing off the field, the, um, the Ray Breen Foundation and stuff they're doing as a on the nonprofit side. I mean, I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the team will always have a special place in my heart, and I'd never... I'd never not answer a call if they need help. Zach, when you think back to that, that first tryout that led you joining the club and, and the whole the whole ride, kind of what sticks with you the most? Yeah, just that it was a. I mean, it was a hectic time. Um, you know, I was in the process of graduating from college and going through student teaching and traveling on on weekends on Friday after I had gotten done teaching and then coming back at two in the morning on Monday morning and sleeping for four hours and then going to a classroom again. That whole process um, was, it was a very hectic time in my life, but something I wouldn't change at all because I, I wanted to make the jump so bad knowing that it was there, especially in Seattle. Looking back at your career here, is there any memorable moment, memorable game that you remember that will always be with you that comes to mind right away? Yeah, I mean, obviously the first one was, um, was unique because I don't think any of us as players or any of us in the organization were were quite ready for the way the the community embraced the team and um, you know walking out of that tunnel and starting the first game and, and seeing you know 30 plus thousand fans with with scarves up and, and cheering for us was again surreal because you know we had on average 2,000 to 2,500 fans before that down here at Starfire so. That, that definitely sticks in my mind, but every game that I've been given the opportunity to take my kids out on the field and kick the ball around, that's, I mean, that's the real joy in my opinion. Those are the games that really stick with me. Is there something that you're going to miss more than others about being you know, here for the last 15 years? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cliche, but it's just the guys. I mean, it's, it's a great group of guys. As, as much as we um, you know, have turnover from year to year, we always seem to have you know, personalities that are a lot of fun to hang out with. So, you know, I'll miss that, the locker room camaraderie, but, um, you know, the next the next step I'm excited for as well. Brian Schmitz has been a part of the coaching staff here for your entire time here. Just a couple words on your relationship with him over the last 15 years. Yeah, I mean, he's been he's been instrumental in in my development. I mean, to be to be frank, I mean, I've all the way from from youth soccer on Maui up until now I've been blessed with just great coaches and and Brian will be the first to tell you that you know it's it's <laughs> there should never be a focus on the coach his goal is to to get his players ready you know but I think when you've got a guy like him who who really is a player's coach um, you know he's somebody you want to fight and battle for because he's because he's there for you the entire way and you know we've we've definitely um, butted heads in the past, but that's because we're very similar, stubborn personalities. And I think I appreciate having a coach like that. And I think he has, he appreciates having players like me.